you, Ribbon. How are you doing? Nice to see you. How Cheers. are you? Yeah, very good, thanks. Cheers. Cheers. What are we drinking? Uh, we are drinking a Highland malt. Okay. Um, so this is a Scottish whiskey. Okay. Just tell me quickly what your role is at Christie's, what you do. Yep, so I'm a specialist and auctioneer. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with vendors and buyers around the world who are interested in uh, you know, whiskey, wine, cognac, all of the things that we sell. Um, and they'll come to us and say they're interested in selling something or yeah. buying something, and we have to decide whether auction is the best route for them or indeed doing a private sale, yeah. um, which is you know what's happening more and more at Christie's now. Uh, so just explain to me how a private sale works from kind of start to finish. Perfect. Sounds like we're in a management meeting. <laughs> <laughs> like, take me from the top. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not a new thing for Christie's. I mean, they've been going since the beginning yep. um, in 1766, and we carry on today. So the way it would work is from a vendor's perspective um, that the vendor would come to us and say, I want to sell a Picasso, I want to sell a bottle of Beaumore, yeah. or I want to sell, you know, 12 bottles of scotch. Yeah. Um, and then we would say, OK, we think the price should be around this. And yeah. we would reach out with our huge personnel yeah. uh, connections around the world, the chairman's office in, in every sort of uh, city that we are based or the chief exec's office um, and they would be at the right parties or you know being talking to the right people through yeah. email and then they would try and move the, the bottles along and um, that would be the way we would do it from that angle. Great. Um, in the other direction you know yeah. a buyer would come to us and say I have a wish list of this and um, you know can you find it for me yeah. um, and then we'd reach out to our vendors around the world and reach into their seller if they were willing to sell it at the right price and you were willing to pay the right price then we got a deal. So if I was going to start collecting whiskey what advice would you give me? In terms of whiskey at the moment yeah. um, I would be looking at all of the big names in, in Scotland. Um, the yeah. largest of these of course is Macallan. You know the other names like Glenfiddich, uh, like Bowmore, like Dalmore they're all in a sort of very collectible category. Yeah. Um, we can talk a little bit about ghost distilleries. That's a fun thing. Yeah. I can, yeah. Um, What's that like? So a ghost distillery is a distillery that's closed. That's run by ghosts. Uh, yeah, like cats <laughs> and a friendly ghost. It's so an old distillery that's haunted. No, I think yeah. I've got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this has been closed for ages. So they, they were sort of making um, up until, you know, a period in the 70s and then they closed for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, and so then they've just been closed, but they've been releasing bottles from I barrels see. that were made previously. Um, and those have been really collectible because obviously nothing else can be made. And you'd also be into the Japanese distilleries, I think, because um, yeah. the two in particular, Karazawa and Yamazaki, uh, so Karazawa has uh, two releases that are quite fun. One is the Geisha release and oh, one yeah. is the Samurai release. Okay. And if now you've seen those talking. labels, they are absolutely, I mean, I have a, a little thing on this book, which is yep. amazing. Um, so these are the Geisha releases. Oh yeah, beautiful. Um, so they're quite fun. And so we tend to sell those a lot in Hong Kong market in China is quite, uh, big for Japanese whiskey, but you know, it's just become very collectible because Karazara is a ghost distillery too. So you have to look at two sort of things really. I mean, the first is to do your research and, and find a sort of voice that you trust, whether that's a critic or, you know, so, or, okay, <laughs> me, if you like. you today. Um, or, you know, sort of follow the right people on Instagram, that sort of thing. So yeah. you, you know there's a general zeitgeist of what's going on in yeah. the industry. And then you can try and buy into them direct from the distillery. Yeah. Um, if you're not so lucky to do that, then, you know, you need to look at sort of auction routes, whether that be pure auction or private sale, but mm -hmm. definitely the auction houses are being offered wi uh, whiskey and wine on a secondary market. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we have the access to these things that other people won't necessarily have. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you, you for bringing me here today to talk about whiskey, nursing a drink and having a good afternoon.